I'm Eric Jensen. I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah, United States, and I make art out of recycled computer keyboard keys. So growing up, I always liked to make art out of random things. I would make art out of food or uh, the garbage that I could find. But growing up, I was born deaf, so speaking was very hard for me. And I didn't speak my first full sentence until I was five years old. And so that language barrier of trying to speak was very hard. And so I always did art. So at a very young age, art was my first language that's how I communicate so I pull things together you know I would find little things and draw and everything cardboard make sculptures and you know, make costumes for me out of paper and different things that was how I was expressing myself because I couldn't say things and so I always tell people art was my first language and then speaking was my second language and so that's kind of been who I was at a young age and so I see art in everything I do, you know, that's how I see the world. I see things, I don't see words. And so that's kind of what come to me. So that's, so this medium is a perfect medium for me because it's, it's what I see. And so I can take things and communicate a message with something that had no value. I just think they're so cool and there's so much history in a computer keyboard and the keys. We've all written like love letters or we've typed on them. We have so much connection. And that's always been so fascinating to me. Um, and I realized that nobody really recycles them very well. It's, it's, it's a plastic, it's hard to recycle. So that kind of bothered me. So I just kind of was like, oh, I wonder if I can make art out of them. So I started collecting them and was like, oh, I wonder if I could, you know. And that just kind of started, um, that journey started from there. But it actually was a college assignment when I was doing art school. Uh, my professor gave us a, a challenge that we had to take something that people don't want and make it into something they want again. So I had an old keyboard that I really didn't want. So I popped it, made a little sculpture and I was almost done with school, so I was like ready to get out. And he said, you have to do more. You promised me you'll do more when you're done with school. And I was like, okay, fine. So I just kind of, you know, asked people and people were like, here, I don't know what to do with the keyboard. And so I was like, okay. So I just started taking them and started making art. And so I guess that's the history of it or the story behind it. to use the keys as a, what is called pixel, pixel form, what cameras work or everything that we see works in that way. And I like to use those to help me create an image, kind of like a mosaic or people use tiles or different things, but I like to use computer keys. So when I start making art, there's a process that goes into it. So I have to find my all my keyboards, I have to pop off the keys, clean them all off, and organize, organize them into different colors. And then I have to take all my tan ones, white ones, and soak them in dice. So I have the palette uh, I have 20 shades of blue or greens and all that stuff so that I have to make my paint before I do the painting or you know so I have to make it all beforehand and then I use those to help me get the right colors and then I lay them all out so I have big tables so that I can lay out all the keys into the image I want I usually do a rough draft so I just kind of go fast and lay it out and then I have to stand back and look at it from far away uh, so that I can see, oh no, it's not working, and then change out a couple uh, every little bit. So I change, oh no, no, that's not working, I change it, 
and then come back the next day with new eyes and change it. And now I just have to keep doing that. So that's usually why I work on four or five different artworks at a time so that I can come in with a fresh eye every day and come in, you know, change a little bit, change a little, you know, come back and cycle through and tell us that, oh, there it is, that's, it's right there. Then I can uh, move it and I start gluing them. I have to glue each one. Uh, one by one, I glue them all in so that they are stable, they're all together. And then I build a frame for them so that I can put them all together. So I, I guess that's my process of how I make it. I'm kind of more interested in the process. Um, that's more fascinating to me is taking this trash, the keyboard that doesn't work, um, that nobody wants, that has no value, and popping the keys, cleaning them, uh, cleaning them up, and making them beautiful again, and putting them as an image. That has more impact on me as a person and the impact on people. Uh, the image that I do, I don't really care so much on what I'm doing is more the process of taking something that's ugly, that's trash into beautiful and that has value. Um, so that's kind of been more fascinating to me. That makes me more excited than anything that I'm doing. Um, seeing the history and the keys, the letters, the different languages, uh, the different ages. So sometimes you get really old, beat up, ugly keys. But as a whole, when you see the whole artwork, you don't see those ugly ones. You see the image and you see the beauty and ugly ones just are there. And so that's been so cool to me as an artist to be able to be a part of that and to be the person that gets to do that. So it's been really fun. I also like to do my own things. I like to do uh, nature, um, animals. I like to recreate some of the masters, so like impressionisms or realistic or whatever. I like to see how they work in a pixelation form or pop art or graffiti. So I've been doing series on and off throughout the years of different uh, recreation of artists. Uh, so that's been kind of fun and with those recreation of artists I like to put hidden messages or words or their names or birthdays and things like that in the artwork. Um, I also like to do uh, portraits of people, uh, famous techie people, uh, people that have influence on the technology world. So I just kind of fit. So I like to do portraits of different famous people like Steve Jobs or Einstein or different things. Uh, or not so famous other techie people that have made influence on the technology world and computers and keyboards and that kind of stuff. <laughs>